Well, welcome to Ravensdale Bible Academy. Today's course is Introduction to Marriage, and today's lesson is the role of the wives. And so we find the role of the wives, one of the areas is in Ephesians 5, uh, verse 20, and it says this, Wives, be subject to your own husbands as unto the Lord. So, this is one of the more difficult passages in Scripture, not because it's not straightforward. It's very straightforward. It, it calls for wives to be subjects to their own husbands. Now, the question is, and the reason why it's difficult, is, is the world, society, culture does not want to submit. Our culture doesn't like that phrase and that term at all, the idea of being subject and submit. They, they liken it to slavery. It's, it's a negative word. And so it's a very difficult concept, especially in the modern feminist movement, to say, wives, you need to submit uh, to your husbands. But you can't think of it from a cultural standpoint or a, an American feminist standpoint. You have to think biblically. And within the verse itself, it states, wives, be subject to your husbands as unto the Lord. And so really what the Bible is calling you to, if you want to have a great marriage, if you want to have uh, the foundation of your marriage, that you are called to submit to your husband, but really as unto the Lord. The, the Lord is calling you to that. Now look, it, it's no different than when you were asked as a child, look, obey your mother and father, but then go to school and submit to your teacher. Learn from them. Grow from them. Submit to your coaches. Submit to your music teachers. Submit to your boss. We're called to do this all the time, but somehow in the role of the relationship in a marriage, we've allowed that to become a stumbling block. But I'm here to tell you that this is the foundation that, that God has set. And so that's why we look at three key principles. We don't look at TV. We don't look at movies to try to understand what the role of a wife is. No, we go to the source itself, the Bible. And so we're called to be biblical. What does the Bible say? The Bible says that it wasn't good for man to be alone. And so God made him a helper, Eve. And then God said, look, you're both to be first Christ-centered. You're to be biblical. You're to be Christ-centered to understand this, that the two individuals become one. And so the idea of being subject to your husband, well, you're one already anyway. And so you're being subject to a, a role. You're, you're just being subject to, to the, the position that God has given the man, and we'll talk about the man's position as well. But see, this world hates this concept. First and foremost, because the world hates God and the world hates the Bible and the world hates the idea of you giving up your selfish self-interests. But see, that's the key to marriage. The key to marriage is for you as a woman to understand your role. The key to a great marriage is for the husband to understand his role, and then bring those two roles into your team so that your team functions in a godly manner. The, the idea of, of submit in the Greek has this idea of, it's not just like a one-time event or action or activity. No, it's an idea of, of you're submitting to God continuously. See, that's really what's at stake here is are we willing to trust God? God has given us principles in our marriage that we need to follow, that we need to trust, and that we need to obey. So there's roles in relationships. The relationships have roles just like everywhere else in the world, just like on a sports team, a pitcher's different, different than a catcher, just like in music, somebody who plays uh, the violin is different than somebody on percussion, uh, just like in the role of, of, of a human body where the ear, the eye, and the nose, and the mouth all have different functions. But which is more important? It's not an issue of importance. It's an issue of 
roles. And so submission is a, a natural response then to an obedient relationship with God. And it will also be a natural response in a loving relationship. If you have abuse, if you have a husband who abuses that authority, who is not a good leader, who is an angry leader, a mean leader, uh, abuses the leadership, well, yes, that, that, that's, that's not a loving relationship, but that's an abuse on the husband's side. You're still called to uh, submit as unto the Lord. And so a primary role of a wife is to submit to her husband as unto the Lord.